So what FSD Beta 12 allows you to do really is drive curb to curb with zero intervention. So I have the destination set right now as Palm House on Union Street. That's where I wanna go. So I'm parked here on the curb in the financial district. I wanna to go to Palm House and it's gonna take me there from curb to curb with zero interventions. Let's try it out. So all I do is push this button when I'm ready to go. And here we go. So going ahead, crossing the street, got a yellow light here and made it across. And now we're making a right turn onto Jesse Street. Jesse Street, I believe, is right here. It's a nice, smooth right turn. Now we got a right turn here onto 3rd Street. We've got quite a lot of traffic coming, driving up 3rd Street. So we'll need to make a right turn when it's safe. We got a guy on a scooter coming. We got a guy on a bike coming. All right, wow. All right, now we've got to make a left turn onto Pine Street in 0.3 miles. It looks like there is a lane closed on the left side. So that could be a little bit of a challenge. Let's see how it handles it. If it can still make the left turn despite there being a lane closed over there. All right, the light is green. And off we go. Construction cones, lane closed. And it's moving ahead. Making a tight lane change here. Okay. Very good. We got some more construction over here. Still not getting over, which is nice. All right, and I believe the next street is Pine, where we have to make the left turn. We got a car pulling in front of us. All right, we got a green light, let's go. We need to make a lane change really quickly to be able to make a left turn. And sure enough, FSD Beta gets over right in time. Not too early that it gets stuck behind the construction, but not too late that it misses the turn. All right, now we got a left turn here. There was a pedestrian crossing. A really smooth, comfortable right turn, much more smooth and comfortable what we've seen in previous versions.
Prius is bouncing over there. That's interesting. All right, we got a green light. Going up a pretty big hill here, which is pretty common in San Francisco. And next, we need to make a right turn on Franklin. All right, pausing ever so slightly for the car to make a right turn, but notice how it didn't stop uh, or slow down uh, too much, which previous versions did. If someone was making a right turn like that, it would often come to a complete stop, wait for them to completely finish, then start again, which tended to annoy the people behind you. So great to see a much more human-like maneuver there. All right, we got a guy cutting in front of us here. Very smooth, even with people cutting in. Doing a great job setting the speed where it thinks it's appropriate with the new auto speed feature. Nice, smooth, boring, uneventful drive. You just relax, it does the driving. All right, now it's pulling in behind another Model Y that really looks like it's trying to park or something. Wow. That's another thing where if a car was parking, it would stop or really slow down significantly. That was a really smooth and natural maneuver it did there without slowing excessively despite the car pulling over to park. That's really going to appreciate it, be appreciated by the people who are driving behind FSD Beta. Here we are, we got a right turn up ahead. I like how it got into the right turn lane much earlier. In older versions, it would often be in the middle lane and then have to change lanes into the right turn lane at the last minute. And it would sometimes create stressful situations where you think you might miss the right turn. But this one, it was just already there. All right, nice gentle right turn. Very soothing. All right, off we go. We are turning left in 0.5 miles. So the car is beginning to make lane changes over. It's changed one lane to the left already. making another lane change. 
as we approach our left turn 0.3 miles away. Really nice smooth driving, slowing gently as it crests the bottom of each hill. Really smooth, okay, slowing a little bit here as it's cresting the hill. It does create a more comfortable driving experience. All right, now we got a left turn here. Much better left turn there. Um, it used to sort of go over those speed bumps that were designed to make sure you make sort of a, a square left turn that keeps pedestrians safe. But um, version 12 seems to be a little better. It did seem like it still drove over the bump a little bit, but it's an improvement compared to the trajectory I saw it take with V11. All right, we're here on Union Street now. Palm House is 0.3 miles away. So let's continue on. All right, looks like we've got a guy on a scooter and a stopped car here. We were gonna go around the car, but then it started moving, so we did not go around it. It very smoothly canceled the takeover maneuver. And there we go, Palm Mouse is right up ahead. No cars parked there. So it should be able to pull right over. And there you have it. What did I tell you? I told you FST Beta 12 could take us curb to curb with zero interventions. And that's exactly what it did. How did I know it was going to be zero interventions? Well, I didn't, but I expected it probably would be. Because a lot of the drives are zero intervention, even on version 11. A lot were zero intervention. So 12 when it's mature, I think it's probably going to be able to do curb to curb, zero intervention most of the time. And then soon, you know, practically all of the time. So I'm really excited for this build to get out to everybody. Thanks for watching.